We're here at Body and Beyond in Hopkinton, the business of Anna Gamel. And I'm just about to step inside and have a conversation and perhaps even experience some of the services she provides here for the whole and oneness and wellness of the body. Hi, Anna. Thank you for having me here in your lovely, peaceful uh, office setting here at Body and Beyond. And Thank Hopkinton. you. You're welcome. Uh, butterflies are around, and uh, I know you have music. Typically, it, it is very peaceful and calm. Um, and the question I want to start with about you and some of your work, uh, mm -hmm. one part of it, is uh, that you have been involved in the Olympics over time um, and we just finished the Summer Olympics this year and I know you have been a part of Olympic uh, self-care and well-being practice for uh, the athletes there since um, 2004. Four. Well, oh, that's a long time. 2004, yes. Yeah. And back then you were over in... No, Greece? I was here. Um, I came to Hapjikten, actually, mm -hmm. 94, mm -hmm. in 1994, and uh, became a massage therapist in 2000. Mm -hmm. And um, when it was time for the Olympic Games in Greece, I was determined to be there. Ah, and yeah. um, I put a team of 170 uh, massage therapists wow. uh -huh. and I was the co-director of the massage therapy team for the Olympics and then 2012 for the London Olympics mm -hmm. and uh, I was actually um, invited for Rio but I, circumstances did not, uh, I wasn't able to go. Right, for the most recent Olympics. Exactly. But that is uh, some impressive determination. You became a massage therapist and then you put this team together. Yes. Over uh, in Greece. Over four years wow. of time. Mm -hmm. Three months. Yes. And a really important part of service, I would think, for... Every athlete mm -hmm. needs um, to work mm -hmm. their body. Body work is very important for, from the recreational athlete or the weekend warrior to elite athlete it mm -hmm. doesn't matter mm -hmm. it's uh, important for their body it's mm -hmm. important for the well-being it's important for their recovery mm -hmm. that's what is incredible yes and um, so what an important service and is it voluntary or it is um with it depends it, but it is in uh, in the massage it has to be voluntary mm -hmm. they don't pay you mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I mean more for the athletes. Yes. Yes. It's only for the athletes. Also. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, what a, an amazing opportunity uh, to be a part of the Olympics, uh, yes. this important part of history, and to get to meet people all over the world. Uh, exactly. What they do best with their bodies, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, um, so, and then... You're out there in the world in different places with this very important <laughs> event, and you're also here in Hopkinton. Correct. You're doing the same work here, servicing the people of community here. And can you talk about uh, who can come and get the services related to massage and beyond? We'll talk about too. But yes, uh, well, here at Body and Beyond, actually, we welcome everybody. <laughs> it's um, I have. Babies from yeah, the babies. three, I, uh, I work with uh -huh. babies, craniosacral mm -hmm. work, from three months old mm -hmm. um, to a hundred year old. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Whoever, if you have a body, you're coming <laughs> to assess their uh -huh. <laughs> to body and beyond. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. age or um, gender. Mm -hmm. it's, it's for everybody and it can help everybody. Mm -hmm. Not just for athletes, either. Not just for athletes, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. um, we offer like uh, so many other modalities of massage, which one of it is the oncology massage that uh, a lot of people are suffering mm -hmm. uh, from cancer. Mm -hmm. And it's very few services that actually can provide mm -hmm. this service. 
Um, and how would that be helpful for someone dealing with cancer? How it would be helpful, first of all, we have, it's the massage and then we have acupuncture too here. Mm -hmm. So it's a combination of these two treatments. Mm -hmm. And how it helps is pretty much calming, relaxing, mm -hmm. and feeling well-being, like a good sense of people struggling and fighting cancer. It's a um, few um, patients actually have said that uh, most of the times they don't get this touch, the, 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 the loving, kind, compassion touch. It's mm -hmm. somebody will poke them or doing the chemo or going mm -hmm. through radiation or or surgery and all this is it's to save their life but at the same time massage is to to heal their soul too mm -hmm. and help them uh, go through this difficult time of their lives well that sounds like a hopeful uh, service offering and uh, I know, admittedly, we are a, a, a pharmaceutical-oriented yes. uh, society these days. Uh, we have advanced and we have uh, medicines for many different things. And uh, we have, I, in my perspective, lost sense of the importance of human touch uh, as part of healing process, which you are reviving in many different ways uh, for athletes and babies and people dealing with cancer here. Exactly. We, we live in a society that touch has become very scary for some people mm -hmm. and, um, and it's unfortunate because the first thing that you feel as a baby is the touch. That's mm -hmm. how you communicate in the world mm -hmm. and into the world. Mm -hmm. So, a healthy, loving, gentle touch is important for every aspect, for mind, body, spirit. Mm -hmm. It heals. Mm -hmm. um, there are studies that they say 30 seconds of uh, hugging mm -hmm. each other, it actually increases the hormone levels, mm -hmm. increases the serotonin, which is happy you feel happy important Thir experience, important for experience. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds mm -hmm. so why we won't hug more <laughs> yes, yes. That, that is interesting it's like my culture coming from Greece uh, it, it's uh, you meet somebody and you just hug mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's it's a beautiful thing it's mm -hmm. connection yes well, we do need more of that. Um, <laughs> I've been aware, even coming from psychology, mm -hmm. and then going into the arts where there was more hugging and seeing just what you're talking about, how that can connect with someone and release stress and open up happiness and Exactly, and exactly. So this is part of the uh, medicine, in a way, uh, and beyond that you're offering. The there. beyond, exactly. It's uh -huh. the healing aspect mm -hmm. of, of renewing, mm -hmm. renewing mm -hmm. the soul. That's, mm -hmm. I, I guess, if I had few things to say about body and beyond or mm -hmm. with one word, it's like renewing mind, body, soul. Yes. And you're uh, also putting science with this because some people can be skeptical when you talk exactly. about the soul uh, word, s words like that <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> um, but that it uh, you have quoted different studies and i'm aware of them as well the importance of the practices that you are providing science is paying attention to now exactly and and i come from both yeah. like i i feel that i'm in two worlds mm -hmm. the world of the spiritual world and the love and the acceptance and the mm -hmm. the beyond us mm -hmm. yeah. and of course we have to go with the science too mm -hmm. because i cannot imagine say something to you if i don't have the backup of mm -hmm. some type of study mm -hmm. especially when it comes down to the body mm -hmm. especially when it comes down when i have to work on an issue that you have been struggling or somebody has been struggling for years mm -hmm. uh, it's important to understand that side of it mm -hmm. too we're very 
smart, advanced, but we still don't understand that connection which you work with here. The mind and the body are together as one. It became apparent to me at the uh, Center for Mindfulness Yes. Uh, and I realized my own thought, oh, oh, you know, I take care of my mind over here with this doctor <laughs> and over here with my right. physician. And they're separate. And I got it more with uh, th some education uh, that we don't tend to emphasize presently. And that's what, I mean, what the ancient Greeks used to say, healthy body, healthy mind, healthy mind, healthy body. Mm -hmm. uh, we have separate that, and like you said, you go from one place for your mind mm -hmm. and the other place for your body, but we are one. Yes. Yeah. And even if you see pictures on of the fetus, mm -hmm. a baby, what does it do? The, it's always like this, so the mind bows to the heart, wow. so, mm -hmm. and then it opens up. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. if even from that early stage of our lives, we actually want to connect mind and heart. Mm -hmm. As we grow, why we have to separate that? Mm -hmm. it's, right. It doesn't make sense. Yes. So here at, um, at Body and Beyond, all the therapists that we have have the same philosophy. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful and proud of mm -hmm. everybody that mm -hmm. is here. Yes, it, it's quite a community of people you have working together to yes. provide different services. Very exciting, the offerings you have as well. I'm just curious, uh, before we go on and talk a little yeah. bit more about that, uh, how did you get into this work? What was what are, what are the roots of that for you that got you going in massage and this kind of work? Yes, um, well, I have been athlete all my life, uh, from a gymnast to track and field. Uh -huh. um, and uh, even back in Greece, I mean, we didn't have massage therapists, but my father will actually massage my calves because mm -hmm. I was hurting. Mm -hmm. And when I came in America, I started going more into aerobic competitions mm -hmm. in the 90s. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I found myself that I was very tight and somebody suggested to go for a massage. Mm -hmm. So when I went and I asked, exactly speci specifically what I wanted it to get mm -hmm. uh, the therapist did my full body and I didn't feel that it was beneficial so much because I wanted specific mm -hmm. and uh, and I that moment decided that if I want something I should learn it too mm -hmm. and that's how mm. it came to. And uh, not only becoming massage therapist, but bringing about this business and uh, so many branches of it. I know that you've yes. been trained in um, and you continue to get training. Quite few. Um, <laughs> so there's a lot to talk about in a little bit of time, but um, in addition to massage that you have had training and provide services in what are other areas? Yes, um, well, massage, the number one, then um, hypnotherapy, which uh, helps a lot with any blockage that maybe we may have. Mm -hmm. um, because what happened was I found it that, yes, the body was coming for massage, the person was coming for massage, mm -hmm. and they had these issues. Um, a specific issue but then very quickly I realized that with a problem that the body presents mm -hmm. to the person it comes some type of emotional attachment to it too. Mm -hmm. It's a different story if it's just like oh my god I fell off down the stairs and I hurt my like that's a trauma but I, even after that we attach emotions of fear mm -hmm. of anger or whatever it is mm -hmm. and I found it that it was very connected and it, I wasn't having the results that I wanted to have just by doing body work mm -hmm. so that's why I decided to go and be trained to hypnotherapy to mm -hmm. talk to the subconscious in a way mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. uh, then NLP which is neuro linguistic mm -hmm. programming to actually be able to reprogram your brain um, 
of cure of these fears. Mm -hmm. And parts therapy, which is another branch of hypnotherapy. Quantum touch, Reiki, which is again energy. So, mm -hmm. so I brought everything. When a, a person comes into my office, it's all about them. It's all about what the person needs, mm -hmm. not choose from the menu. Mm -hmm. And you figure that out. And I'm figuring that out through conversation that I have mm -hmm. before to see what they need. Mm -hmm. Do you have so much to offer with the integration? Exactly. Let's um, talk a little bit about massage, yes. uh, because that's how this began, <laughs> exactly. and then you figure out where to go from there, but I, I know personally in talking about massage, uh, uh, I ha have talked about when I have had one, um, you know, the reaction of uh, you had a massage mm -hmm. by some people, like, what a weird thing, right? Mm -hmm. And then other people, before that, you haven't had a massage, <laughs> like I'm crazy because I didn't have one. There are these very extreme reactions by some people. Um, yes. Can you tell a little why massage is important, maybe in a minute or so? Because I know we want to go beyond. <laughs> I guess the importance is that I won't go down the list of what is actually the beneficial, because actually I can go down that, but at the same time, yes, it helps with relaxation, it helps with well-being, it helps with awareness, mm -hmm. body awareness. Mm -hmm. But I think the most important thing is taking a pause. For that half hour or an hour, you actually doing something for yourself. Mm -hmm. Which, especially moms and women, don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and being a mom, I know that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's important. And even men, that they are working all weeks yes. all the day or traveling I have uh, women that they say oh my god my husband needs this so much mm -hmm. that's what it comes down that's why massage is beneficial for everybody for it's mm -hmm. it gives you the pause that you're not willing to take mm -hmm. on your own but at least you're making an appointment and you make that pause mm -hmm. you take that pause mm -hmm. and it helps with Everything, it, it helps with everything, it's extreme, but it help whatever has to do with your soft tissue, mm -hmm. pain, or stress, mm -hmm. I guarantee it will help. Because it all works together as we're talking exactly. about. Exactly. So could I have a demonstration with you? Could we give that a try for a few Absolutely. Yeah. All Absolutely. right, great. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Today's my uh, first massage, so what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, the first step is that you're here, and that's wonderful. So what, we, what I'm going to do is um, a gentle, mm -hmm. actually, uh, neck massage, which it can help a lot mm -hmm. with uh, people with headaches, TMJ problem, um, stress, anything that uh, when you meet somebody who says, oh my God, my neck is hurting me or my shoulders are heavy, this is one of our approaches. It can be relaxation, therapeutic, or more deep uh, clinical mm -hmm. work, which that's actually different from one to the other. What is therapeutic? Therapeutic is more a well, feeling well being mm -hmm. and um, stress. Uh, free and clinical is more about going deeper into the layers of mm -hmm. um, the tissue mm -hmm. and that involves a little more discomfort mm -hmm. um, or pain which I believe pain is part of life and um, if we don't experience pain then we don't experience change or happiness. Mm -hmm. I haven't met yet the person that said, oh, 
because I was so happy or so joyful, I experienced, I changed my life. True. Uh, True. We'd be accustomed to staying the same. Right? We'll be exactly. Mm -hmm. But pain is instead of seeing it as our enemy, is actually mm -hmm. our friend because it gives us the push that we need in a way to change something. Mm -hmm. Either that's uh, it's on an emotional or on the physical. And only with the pain we were actually able to change. Mm -hmm. Um, our lifestyle or our approach to life. So we fight it a lot. We fight it and we want to have the easy fix which is anti-inflammatory and painkillers mm -hmm. and all the mm -hmm. other stuff. When actually a half hour of massage it can help you prevent all that pain. Mm, it's interesting. So the deep tissue uh, massage, how does that help with pain? The deep tissue goes much deeper into the tissue, works um, in the areas that you have a problem mm -hmm. and uh, allows the fascia, which is a connective tissue mm -hmm. and we have it all over our body, to actually release and allow the body to bring back to the homeostasis. Ah, I see. And we're having a relaxing one now. And we're having a relaxing and one. It feels very good. And it feels great. Yes. I'm happy. <laughs> so, how was it? Oh, well, so relaxing, really. Uh, an interesting experience um, that in that I was relaxed. I felt at peace. Uh, my body did feel wonderful sensation. Uh, around my neck and the massage, uh, and I also felt lighter in my head. I, I want more. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. So we made a believer. <laughs> yes, I am a believer. And, and that you talk along with your work also is, I think, Im interesting for me as well. well. It's a, I find that it's very important, actually, to ed education is very important. Yes. So, not I believe doing it. I am not a yeah. passive bystander yes. when we work or you are just receiving. It's just, it's exchange of energy. It's mm -hmm. what you need, I will offer. Mm -hmm. And then it's important to communicate. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's what uh, the massage here at Body and Beyond is. Too. So much. Uh, very at a deeper level, really, and very interesting. So many gifts you have brought to the town of Hopkinton, yet you come from Greece. Yes. What brought you here to our town with these gifts? Well, that was uh, 1994 um, that um, oh, my husband and I got married, mm -hmm. and um, we got 1993. But uh, when we moved from, I moved from Greece, pretty much the first stop was Hapjikten because he was working in Rhode Island and it was a halfway to Worcester oh, that he comes oh, from. Uh -huh. Therefore, Hapjikten, it was a nice little town. In the middle. <laughs> in the middle, exactly. Uh -huh. and, uh, and we felt, we didn't have children back then and uh, it just felt right. I come from a very, very small island of Greece mm -hmm. and uh, 3,000 people. So to me, it felt home, if, uh, mm -hmm. that it was so close and small. That is the similarity then. That, exactly. That is nice to hear. And, um, and friendly, sounds... friendly community, like kind and welcoming. Yes. That's, that's why I loved it mm -hmm. here. And so you have brought some more of that from Greece yes. uh, to here with the work that you're doing also and what you are offering community members, baby, to possibly 100 exactly. people that I have, I have an 84-year-old oh, right now, uh -huh. so, yes. you know, as That's well as athletes, uh, um, you know, Olympics, but also the marathon runners are a part of the work that you do. You work with the Big. elites here, you work with folks, No, I or? work with the elites in Boston mm -hmm. uh, every year since mm -hmm. 2004. Uh, I go the week before. Uh, the marathon and uh, we work actually our other therapist here too Joe Fraser is uh, working with the elite athletes for the last two years uh -huh. with us uh -huh. so we're taking care every everybody <laughs> and you, you've run the marathon and also. I have run the Boston Marathon in 2002 
But the reason I ran it, I ran, it was because I wanted to experience mm -hmm. what was to go through the training, uh, going through the brutal winter training. Mm -hmm and uh, be able to run and know where my pains, my aches were coming from. Therefore, when my clients were coming for massage uh, because they were running the marathon, I was able to actually be compassionate and sympathize and, and know exactly where the pain was so I can help them wow. faster. So that was the reason I ran the Boston Marathon <laughs> to, for I my... <laughs> for the experience to be able to help others. That is, again, determination and commitment <laughs> to your contribution of work. Very yes. impressive. And Thank how'd you. it go, the marathon? It was great. I did four hours and two minutes. It Excellent. Was, it was well, good. Congratulations. I had a lot of fun. Uh, the best uh, race ever that I had run. Uh -huh. and, um, and it was fantastic. And then 2010, I turned 40, so uh -huh. I wanted to run the original, the Greece, in mm -hmm. Greece. So I went in Greece and I ran. I, it had to have a meaning, like that's why. Mm. Boston and Greece, the first marathon in the world. Mm, how about that? Yes, that's what I did. Oh, wow. Congratulations. And how special for you, but all the people around you, uh, just like your Thank work you. as well. And as we come to a conclusion, and there's so much more we could say, right? <laughs> but I guess you uh, viewers will have to come to Body and Beyond and exactly. talk to you or, or see you on the street uh, at one of our local businesses. But um, just curious about what you would recommend as philosophy for living a good, well life. Hmm. Well, I will say live life from the heart, mm -hmm. connect, mm -hmm. touch, mm -hmm. and, uh, and let love come through. Mm -hmm. Because I believe fear is what holds love mm -hmm. back. And uh, if we love openly, then well-being, we will feel centered, well, and happy. Absolutely. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you so I've much. i a great deal. And I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you.